we are living through a global psychedelic renaissance with increasing mainstream attention on scientific research showing that psychedelic substances have powerful therapeutic potential. From MDMA and psilocybin now being used as effective therapeutic agents for treating trauma and anxiety, ketamine or aboga are also now being used to treat addictions and depression. And we can also witness the widespread popularization of the Amazonian tea ayahuasca that many people are taking to experience spiritual healing. I've been deeply involved in the psychedelic community for over two decades as a facilitator of these medicines and as the prime creator of the DMT ayahuasca smoking blend known as Changa. What I often think is missing from the new psychedelic medicine discourse is that for most people, the psychedelic experience is typically a self-initiation outside of the legal channels or the medical model, and perhaps it always has been. Unfortunately, there is surprisingly little guidance about how to navigate the experience beyond the typical psychotherapy model. As the taboo around the subject fades, we need a more honest discussion of how to prepare oneself, create a safe environment, and to contextualize and integrate these most powerful and profound experiences in the days and months afterwards. I decided to capture and distill the wisdom from within the Australian psychedelic community, focusing on personal ruminations and contemplative thought. I also collected first-hand experiences from people's very first initiatory journeys, powerful revelations, encounters with beyond human entities, and visionary experiences that sometimes leave even more unanswered questions. The people I interviewed are from all walks of life. They are scientists, academics, psychotherapists, business owners, artists, mothers, and people from the corporate world. For myself and the people interviewed in this documentary, psychedelics are not just therapeutic tools or one-size-fits-all drugs. They are transformative medicines that open people's minds to exploring the spiritual dimensions and the mysteries of consciousness itself. They are a portal for deep and meaningful contemplations. <laughs>